Hey everyone, I am Arush Dixit and you are watching Connect Tech Arush English. Please subscribe, like and share my channel so I will be motivated for creating technical videos like this. So let's get started. Today we are continuing our full stack of development series and today is our part um, 27. And in this video we are going to learn how we can create a cheat sheet using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and a library called prism.js So, we will create cheat sheet of HTML, CSS and JavaScript HTML and CSS Just HTML and CSS Cheat sheet HTML Do HTML HTML cheat cheat mm, let's go here and we have this HTML cheat and here we create a tag called pre. Pre tag means here we don't need to tap br. Suppose I type hello, then hello. So if we go here, then it will look like this. But you ca but you cannot change its font. But we don't have to put br again and again so that we can see that. And here we have a tag called code and inside code tag we can put our html suppose firstly i put some css code here like this and we will go here and we have this just as basics but now we want so that it will look stylish and we want that all so we will do that by inline style here and in line style we will say div h1 font family open to comma sans serif save this and go here now it's looking like this and text transform capitalize it's like this and after this i know you are not understanding text transform means text transform means you can change its convention of which manner it will look like suppose it if i type here uppercase then whole will be in up uppercase and if i type here lowercase then whole will be in lowercase and if i type capitalize then it will then it will capital first letter and if it is full form then it will capital whole thing and we will we are saying text align means if the text will be in center here here and justify so we are saying that the text will be in center and background color uh, background color suppose we write background color as brown And we are forgetting a thing here margin 0 pixel padding 0 pixel box sizing border box see it's like this 
and we can go here and say that number one and in number one we are saying that boiler plate css and here you can style this div, uh, this heading also we can do something here we are saying that apply this style for every heading now it's looking good and after we have do this we can give here a in code tag we have a class called language your language name save this now nothing will happen see nothing will happen but we have a site called prisma.js and from here you have to click on download you have to select your theme suppose i choose dark and select your languages from here uh, i just want the, these two languages and downside you have thing called plugin i can do this these all this this and we can also do this thing highlight words and you have to click on download js and download css you have you will download that and drag and drop them to your file i have created a folder already and paste them and created as are my requirements you can create as your requirements i have created as my requirements link css prism slash this is very basic thing this is very basic and if we go here nothing will happen because this it's prism.css and it's looking like this but now we want to be js js also now javascript is a thing called in gem it it specifies the engine so for engine we have a call for we have a tag called script for specifying javascript here and pres slash prisma.js you can learn this you can learn this because i am not explaining you this but we will learn all these code and explain i will explain you in future videos but from here you, if you want to create any teach it just learn this now if we go here boom guys we have everything ready for us and if we go here and suppose we want html now for the html it is little bit different suppose i create a new file and give it html here will be title and content in html we have to replace this all for the late for this sign we will replace it as ltsm and we can replace whole thing whole thing here semicolon also now we have to do this here and we can go here copy this and paste that save this and go here 
uh, why it is like this here will be content right and it's like this as the rate gt per semicolon not gt it's lt and semicolon also and if i do this thing with greater than sign then it will gt and if you paste that right click and format save this and go here now it's looking like this hmm good looking and we have to specify its languages because we have already changed its language to html so that's why it's giving us a style and that's it guys this is in the video i hope you like this video thank you guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to create your cheat sheet i will create a cheat sheet for you and link that in my github profile